Okay, just a quick shout out to one of my students, Dark Assassin, who says I should improve my um, thumbnails. So that's uh, the thumbnail you just clicked on. Um, have a look at his channel in the description. Um, he's also improved his thumbnails um, a lot. So uh, if you like this thumbnail, let me know. And I'll change my thumbnails to craziness. I might even go ridiculous and uh, make a bit of a joke of it and try and outdo all the clickbaity go people out there. All right, so uh, changes of state. This is another um, sort of more revision type of question. So at stoichiometry, we do cover a lot of bases to cover revision. Uh, and so the condensing, vaporizing. Vaporizing can be boiling or evaporating. Uh, one of the differences is boiling, it's going from the liquid to the gas state within the liquid itself because you've decreased the pressure or increased the temperature to a point where the vapor pressure is equal to the outside pressure, whereas evaporation is only at the surface. And um, I think we'll just leave that there because you won't be asked that sort of question. Um, so the other difference here, and I'll show you the heating curve, uh, is when you increase the temperature of a solid, um, it increases the vibrations, but then as soon as you go to a change of state, all the energy goes into changing the position of the particle and the temperature stays the same. Uh, and same with the opposite direction. Um, and so this will increase temperature to a point, and then at some point the energy will go into changing this position of the particles. And so that there would be known as the boiling point, and that there would be known as the melting point. Uh, and so we'll look at the graph. So deposition sublimation doesn't happen as often, uh, just going straight from a solid to a gas, such as carbon dioxide. Um, and so the graph here, this again is more of a year 10 science question. They don't ask you this one in the IB. Uh, but in this position here, everything is in the same, everything's the same temperature. The only difference is, uh, let's say this is um, a solid and this is, this is a solid here. All it is is increasing in temperature and then these things are turning into liquids. Uh, or if this was a liquid, this point they're turning to gas. Here, once everything is that second state, it can increase in temperature. So this one would make more sense if that one was a liquid there. And this one here, um, so at least this one's a solid going to a liquid and then the liquid's heating up and then the liquid's turning into the gas. All right, now you're only going to get these straight lines if it's a pure substance. Um, and so that is one way to use it. Uh, just to mention now, uh, Kelvin is the temperature scale that we use. So that's degrees Celsius plus 273.